Hi guys, my name's Erin and I'm a C5 quadriplegic. I'm starting a new series called Adapting with Erin and it will be mostly quadriplegic life tips. So today I'm gonna to show you all of my wheelchair cushions that I've acquired in the past almost seven years now that I've been injured. So the first cushion I'm gonna show you is my JGS cushion, which is something that I recently bought myself because the ones that I got through insurance just weren't working for me and they'll only cover one new cushion, I think every five years, unless there's a specific reason that you need a new one. So the JGS is great because it has gel that molds to your body and it's really comfortable. And then it has wedges that you can put on the side to hold your hips in, but also wedges in the front, which you can move in or wide, and it will hold your knees in, which is really great. So this is a huge hack of mine on how to get your legs to stay together. Mine like to go out, especially my power chair. I'm in this cushion as well in my manual chair, but it was a little bit too tall because this has a foam piece which is a little too, like it made me sit too high in my manual chair, which felt kind of scary. So I actually took a piece of foam from an old cushion that I don't use, and I used that instead of this um, harder foam, and I put the gel on top, and then I put, uh, I Velcroed the wedges on myself, I had Jack help me. Um, I don't need the hip wedges in the manual chair because I have side guards, but I did use the ones in the front to hold my knees together. Another cool tip is I take the gel completely out of the cushion if I'm sitting in the front of the car. So you can take this out, put it in the car, and it helps if you can't pressure relief. Okay, so the next one is my Rojo cushion. This is my original Rojo that I got leaving Spalding Rehab. I'm pretty sure that it's the hybrid air and foam, which was discontinued, and now they make a new hybrid one, which I don't have here because I gave it to someone that needed it, but I got the new hybrid five years after I was injured when insurance would cover a new one and there was something different about it. There was a little hard foam piece in the middle. So whenever I would sit in that cushion after three hours, I would just start sweating from autonomic dysreflexia, even with pressure reliefs. And so that's the biggest reason that I started trying some new cushions. This one still works. I don't think it offers a lot of support, but I never got a pressure sore from it, and I've used it in my power chair and manual chair. Also, they don't make it anymore, so. so, but you can look at the new hybrid Rojo, but I just didn't really like it. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, so this next one is a custom ride design cushion where they molded me for it. It's called an AccuSoft, and this one's great because it has really great airflow. I don't think the JGS or the Rojo has as good airflow. One thing I really didn't like about it is that it's really thick and they can't really make it thinner than that because of the way that it's custom to you. But you sit really high in the power chair and it felt even higher in the manual chair. I do have one for the manual chair, it's the same thing, but it's smaller. I can't really use it in my manual chair because of how high I sit. So if anyone wants to try it, even though it's custom to me, let me know. For me, it's different in the power chair. Even though it sits high, it's still comfortable. The only thing is sometimes I feel like with my hip pain that it will make it hurt more. Sometimes it helps, sometimes it doesn't. So I've had this hip pain since last November, so it's pretty new to me. But this one's great because it also holds your knees together, holds your legs in place. It has a ton of support, a lot of pelvic support, a lot of lower back support and side support so it really holds you in your chair nicely i think it would be pretty hard to transfer out of because you sit so deep in it but it's a great option if you're having lower back pain or hip pain so my insurance did cover the custom ride design for both chairs because i had told my doctor about the lower back pain and the hip pain so your insurance probably will cover it if you need it for a specific reason i wouldn't recommend it for the manual chair because of how high you sit, unless they can do it thinner somehow. I also know that they can customize it however you want. You don't have to do as deep as a mold as this one if you don't need that much support. So last but not least is my Caligon Orbiter Cushion. I've tried their other one that they used to have as well, um, but I like this one a lot. 
basically this one alternates air with a pump, I think every three minutes, but you can customize how much you want it to alternate the air on the app that they have. It's really cool. It's a small cushion. It's not too thick, which is nice. And it has that hose attached to it with the battery. And basically you can just put that battery on a mount on the back of your chair or in a bag, which I did for a while. But this is a great cushion to use if you have a pressure sore or say you're going to an event where you just don't want a pressure relief often. Like if I'm in my manual chair and I know I'm not gonna be able to pressure relief, this is a great option. It's also great for the car if you're in like in the front seat and it's a long road trip and you need a pressure relief. So yeah, I would really recommend getting this, especially if you have a pressure sore or you're prone to getting pressure sores. And I can use this in my power chair and in my manual chair. I think that Caligon has other cushions available that probably alternate air as well. I think they have one with a smaller motor. So definitely check that out if you're interested. Thanks so much for watching and be on the lookout for my Adapting with Aaron series.